Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Beautiful, Beautiful Twin Sisters Podcast. Oh, my. Beautiful Twin Sisters. Sisters. Yes, we did it. We started a podcast. Absolutely. And you're watching it right now. And you need to change. I told you I was going to wear this shirt I today. I was going to wear this shirt today. Ashley. I, I literally, literally told, told you last, last night that I was, was going to wear, wear this, this shirt, shirt tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> well, well, anyways. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> we need to chill. Like, you actually need to stop. No, that was weird. Okay. Guys, the twin telepathy is real it is so real right now if you guys don't know us i'm amber and i'm ashley and we are indeed the beautiful twin sisters Mm -hmm. sorry just took a sip of my matcha we have matcha right next to us just for the viewers that are not watching or listening via the visible podcast just so they know like what's going on yeah we are drinking a matcha of course and we're wearing twin outfits we're wearing sparkly gold bandeau tops and black jeans Gold and pink, pink with gold specks. We now live together in New York City as of September 2023, Mm -hmm. and it's been quite a crazy journey. And since moving here, we have become the beautiful twin sisters. And how did that happen? Let us explain our villain origin story. The lore. We're getting deep into the lore. This story actually begins in the lovely neighborhood of Williamsburg, Brooklyn, where... Us two, just sisters at the time, were just being Brooklyn baddies and we're walking down a regular street in Williamsburg when all of a sudden a man, there is a man sitting on the street. For some reason, the street is like a little bit sketch and you know what he says to us as we pass by? Beautiful twin sisters. <laughs> and we're like, <laughs> what? But the thing is, no, I think someone already before was like, so, set, like we already got catcalled on that street like a so, second before yeah like a second before we're already on high alert and then a man just regular man sitting down just hits us with the beautiful twin sisters and we're just like Ooh. we're like ain't no way he just <laughs> it was crazy but also we were like wow kind of iconic that's iconic not only are we beautiful women we're beautiful twin, twin sisters. sisters so it's we have a joke yeah we have since just claimed that name it's who we are our original government birthdays <laughs> are actually two years apart amber is younger by two years do not that's actually guys like you need to keep this on the down low like i'm telling you guys because we're besties but like literally do not spread this because it's actually is misinformation it's misinformation fake news propaganda propaganda um but so amber is according to the government two years younger two years younger I am two years older, uh, 23 years old. No, you're not. Oh my God, I'm going to literally... Okay, I'm I was 24. In... I'm so sorry. I literally keep forgetting that I got older. but And I'm 22 now. I was born in 2001. Ashley was born in 1999. Yeah. But you didn't hear from us. You didn't hear from us because actually we are jointly 23 <laughs> with a joint birthday of October 14th. Okay? Yeah. Get the facts straight. That is the only We're truth. twins. That's the full truth, only truth. Don't Amen. get it twisted. <laughs> yeah. We're the beautiful twin sisters. Don't get it twisted. Oh, also for the people who are don't just get listening. it twisted. <laughs> That's actually like kind of our new. We're, like we always say, like we are the beautiful twin sisters. <laughs> don't, don't get, get it twisted. twisted. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually such a funny phrase. No wait, so the merch. Like, our, like the merch is like don't get it twisted. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah. Um, but also for the audio listeners, I drew a little photo behind us that says "Beautiful Twin Sisters Podcast" and it's a little stick figure drawing of the two of us mm-hmm. in our current outfits. Yep. And it's awesome. And so if you guys are wondering how we know each other, well, we've known each other since the womb. Yes. And we have grown up together, always been besties. I feel like we're both really lucky that we've always like liked each other liked as each sisters. Other and just like been literally best friends. Like I feel like Amber's like the one person where I can literally be like, that's my best friend. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. This is getting emotional. Anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. No, but, but literally like people always DM us and comment like oh, I wish I had your guys' sibling relationship. Like, me and my siblings are not that close. I'm like, damn, I don't know how we did it, but our whole lives, we've always been like this, intertwined. Didn't even have to try. So I am, we are so blessed for that. Yeah, we were just lucky enough to get along well. And I think both of us, like, we don't really hold grudges. Like, I think we can get, like, as regular siblings do, like, get annoyed at each other. But the grudge, like, goes away after, like, hours. Yeah. So 
it's not like I'm ever feeling like violent towards my (laughs) siblings like except for that one time when you uh beat me up literally I was like 11 years old (laughs) and you still bring this up how I like it's because you did a backflip on the trampoline into my eye (laughs) like you literally like your whole entire body like landed on my eye and so I rightfully like (laughs) ripped your hair out yeah (laughs) and my friend was over and watched the whole thing and then she had to go home that's so (laughs) that was our one moment where we kind of tripped up yeah don't get it twisted (laughs) also wait like Speaking are you even siblings if you don't do that? Yeah, who hasn't done that? There's no who sibling hasn't that has gotten mauled by their sibling. <laughs> yeah. But really quick, I want to show you because we are the beautiful twin sisters and yes. this is kind of a new thing since we've moved to New York City together. Mhm. I wanted to show you. I was looking at my own YouTube channel the other night, which is kind of embarrassing. I don't know how I stumbled upon this clip, but you have to watch this. This is from December 2020. Are you ready for this? You have no idea what's in here. Like You've never posted this online? This is on my YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is public. Okay. But watch. We haven't seen this in like three years. Okay. Should I just copy Ash's hair completely? I think you should just copy I my think hair I completely. Probably should. And then we could be like, we could like make videos and be like doing this with my twin. <laughs> then everyone would be like, wait, are they twins? <laughs> but I also cause mass confusion. But it's fine. I that's what I'd love to do. Isn't that the point of being on social media? Is that not the point? Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank Whoa. You. Isn't that crazy? It's like literally the, the seed had been planted. The prophecy has been fulfilled. Wow. It's crazy. That video is from 2020. And I've like, I don't like that video, I have not watched it since, and I don't know why I clicked on it the other day. And skip to the end specifically to watch that segment. And I was yeah. like, where did that come from? The idea has always been in here. That man was a sign from the universe to bring the idea back into our head. That man mm. on the street that uh, Kat wow. called us so aggressively, he knew. But it was God's plan. God's plan. Actually, that was not a man. That was God himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and we just had the nerve to walk by him and not even give him a second look. It's literally the man that would guide the rest of our podcast career. Wow. Crazy. That's insane. But that's so funny because this is actually causing mass confusion. I know. If you like look at some of our TikTok comments where in videos where we're like, haha, we're twins. He, he, yeah. He. Like the top comments always like, how did I not know they were twins? I never realized you're twins. And everyone's like, yeah, they're, they've been <laughs> twins. <laughs> so it's literally <laughs> terrible because it's like if you guys are in on it, then like you also like help gaslight people. Yeah. But it's okay. If you are a viewer, a listener of the Beautiful Twin Sisters podcast, you have to troll on our behalf. You have to gaslight the public, respond to every comment, being like, yeah, they've been twins. Where have you been? They've been saying this. your civic duty. Mm -hmm. So as part of our little community we have here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Also, just to get to know us better, since this is episode one, we're going to give you guys a little spiel about ourselves individually so you know the hosts. Ashley, would you like to begin? Of course. Well, first off, I would like to say thank you so much for watching the podcast. I think a lot of you guys that are coming here, especially for the first episode, already know us from YouTube. That is our main platform. Passions in life, our main platforms. Um, And it's where I think most of you guys would know us from. Mm -hmm. So I have been doing YouTube since 2018, um, along with my beautiful sister right here. And so in the beginning, Amber would always sometimes be behind the camera and then she'd be behind the camera for extra dynamic. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes she'd be in front of the camera for extra dynamic. I've had a podcast in the past in like 2020, 2021, and you guys have been begging for it to come back. And so now it's coming back bigger and better than ever. In a new form. In a new form. Yeah. I think it'll be more sustainable. Got co-host this time. Got co-host, so I won't be like talking into the void. (laughs) Um, But that's just like kind of my little background spiel. Anyways. Where I was born. I was born in lovely upstate New York. That is where I was born and raised. That is also where I went to college. So I have literally lived in New York my entire life. Even right now, the apartment that we're sitting in, this beautiful couch that I'm sitting on, is in New York City. Never thought I would live in New York City, though, because really was raised a suburban girly. And if you're wondering a little bit about our background, both Amber and I are half Korean. Our mom is Korean. She's from Seoul. (laughs) And she moved to the United States when she was 12. And then our dad, yeah, 12 or 13. I'm pretty sure it's 12, though. I'm pretty sure it's 12, Sorry, Mom. Mom always gets so mad because I literally mess it up every time. And I always get it right, and you always get it wrong, but now I don't remember which number is right. Anyways, I'm pretty positive it's 12. Sorry, Mom. And then our dad is just white. So that's the T. He's like British... Scottish, Scottish, German, German, 
French European mix. Family came over in like pilgrim times, like American He's a white through man. and through. Yeah. yeah. So that's our dad's side. And now we're here on yeah. the planet. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Um, and then for my little introduction, my name is Amber, if you forgot. I am 22. Okay. Which is also fake news. But um, <laughs> I went to, so we both grew up in upstate New York together. And where Ashley has always been in New York, I moved to Southern California for college where I went to Chapman University and I studied film and television. I was a television writing and production major. So I was all about that camera, uh, doing short films for my homework assignments. But now I am not pursuing any of that because honestly, I did, it's kind of just too weird of a what? thing for me. I don't know. <laughs> doing film and TV is kind of just like crazy vibe. It was not super into it and so now I'm full-time podcasting I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm just kidding but actually though after college um I moved to New York City to live with Ashley in this apartment it's been my plan since like senior year of college was kind of when I realized I didn't want to do the classic route where you move to LA and work in there I wanted to actually live in like a walkable city and be with my sister and be close to my family yeah so it was definitely to move yeah and, and both of us do YouTube. Amber has a very successful YouTube channel. So it's kind of like you kind of realize you already had like one foot in the door exactly. with YouTube. You already had built up your platform to like an extent where you could be full time with it. Mm -hmm. And so you decided, hey, rather than start at square zero unpaid internship unpaid in the internship film industry in Los Angeles. Yeah. You would just try out YouTube. Give it a try. Why not? You're young. What better time than now to live in New York City? Yeah, and I'm loving it. I love just uh, making little videos, talking to you guys is so much fun. Literally, like, I don't know, because doing film school was fun, but uh, the, the, like, energy there is so cutthroat for no reason. I'm like, this is literally, like, could be the most fun job in the world if y'all just chilled out. But I, it was not like that, so I was like, I don't really feel like it. Anyway, so that is basically our backgrounds yeah, that is us. We also have a younger brother named Andrew who's still in college. He's in Southern California at Chapman, the same school I went to. So that is why he is not here with us. Yes, so and sad. he's studying business like me, which I realize I forgot to fully say yeah. like where I went to college. But I actually had kind of a really not like effed up college. Like ex not it, the the experience wasn't effed up, but I went to like many different colleges just because of interesting things and COVID and whatnot. So yeah. basically when I first went to college, I went to George Washington University, which is in Washington, DC. I went there for one semester and it was a nice college, but being a suburban girly going to a city, even I know that DC is like not nearly as like bustling as New York City, but for me at the time it was too much. I was also 17 when I went to college. I was a little baby. I was really like not that independent. Like I feel like when I moved to college, I remember like getting lunch by myself on like orientation day and being like, this is like my first time getting lunch by myself ever in my whole life. Like, isn't that crazy? Oh so I was just like not prepared to go to college in like any regard. And then I was like suddenly there in a different state, like all by myself. It was interesting. I didn't really love it there. I think mostly because my dorm was on this weird other dorm called Mount Vernon, which was like so far away from the main campus. Yeah. And it just kind of like made my college experience weird because like I would have to go down to the main campus and sometimes it would like take an hour or like two hours with traffic, literally. So it was just super isolating. It was a little more isolating. And I also didn't put myself out there to make friends when I first went to college because I like had literally no idea what I was doing. I was on the cheerleading team, though, and that was fun. However, the coach was a little bit crazy and would insinuate drama within all of the cheerleaders for no goddamn reason. And so that also made me feel weird. And then I was like, mm, I actually ha really had a vision that I wanted to transfer back home to an apartment in our home state. But I decided that I wanted to transfer back home. I literally, I remember being in DC at my desk and being like, I really want to start YouTube, but I know I want to start it with my siblings. I need to transfer back home. And I remember talking to one of my good friends at the time about it. And then she was like, I think your siblings are fine. Like, I think you, you'll be fine in DC for like another semester. And also that was really nice of her. And she was like one of my only good friends. Her name is Dima at the time, like in DC. And she definitely was right. Cause I was like getting nervous that you and Andrew like couldn't fend for yourselves, which is like so dumb, even though you totally could. But I was like, I just want to go back home with my siblings. And like, you guys are my best friends. So I think I just yeah. missed you guys as my friends mostly. Um, 
And she was like, girlfriend, you're fine. And I was like, I'm going to transfer. <laughs> and then so I transferred. Yeah. Um, and then I transferred to RPI, which is in upstate New York. It was close enough that I could commute like from home and then to school. And there I was, I think I actually entered in as a psychology major, but I was always like either like biology or psych, like between the two, because I wanted to be pre-med. And with pre-med, you can kind of do any major really as long as you hit those prerequisites that you need to be a pre-med student. Mm -hmm. Like you could be a psychology major as long as you take all the bio, bio, physics, chem, all of those. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe you don't know what I, mean. I don't Anyways, know. <laughs> that is what I did for pretty much my first three years of college was be a STEM major because I thought I was going to be a doctor. At the same time as I was kind of doing that, I also started YouTube side by side. And we'll probably have a full podcast about like my specific college. YouTube journey and college journey. So I don't want to get like too into it right now. But I did that kind of side by side until I got to the point where I realized, hey, actually, I can do YouTube full time. So I am not going to take or go yeah. <laughs> during my last year of college because I don't need to and I'll graduate with a business degree. And I ended up somehow managing to graduate with a business degree, even though I only transferred in like to the business school, like my last year of college pretty much, which is crazy. crazy. But since RPI is such a STEM based school, like 80% male, literally, I thought I could do like marketing, like, Ooh, fun marketing business class. No data analytics. So no. I, I wanted to avoid the math and I couldn't, but it was still easier, I think, than like taking Orgo, like obviously. So yeah, that's what I did. And I graduated with a business administration and management major and a minor in psychology. Wow. So yeah. And I minored in teaching. Isn't that crazy? In education. I could be a teacher, bro. That's actually so lit. I would love to be a teacher. I always think about that too. I do actually like... Like decorating a classroom? That wow. sounds fire. That sounds phenomenal. Wow. Like Shout out to the teachers. Wow. Shout out. I actually like love school growing up. Yeah. And I love all my teachers and I love... Oh, I literally, every time that is actually like Christmas time, I always think about oh my God, right now I'd be in school and we'd be doing like crafts and we'd be doing like an assembly for Christmas. And like, yeah. I miss that so bad. I'm like, why can't I experience that again as an older person? It makes me so sad. We got to throw our own assembly. God, okay. And hire a Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. When the janitor used to pretend to be Santa in our school. And he killed it. And he literally killed it and the kids were going wild and it was lit. It wow. was, our elementary school went ham. Like, I was like, Santa is in our school right now. <laughs> he literally looked like Santa. It was crazy. Yeah, also being uh, in New York City during the wintertime has been so magical. Ugh, divine. It's divine. Actually, not really. It's so freaking cold. I hate every day that I'm here. I hate walking outside. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm really cold right now because I'm wearing a tube top yeah, in our well, house. And actually, it's pretty cold. No. But yeah, it is interesting being here because it's like literally the most like horrific weather conditions where you're like getting frostbite on your cheeks. But then it's like, oh, my God, the pretty twinkly lights. This is gorgeous. Yeah. I think also because it is our first episode, we got to do a little Q&A to get to know us better. So I've written out some questions that we will answer okay. so that you guys have a better idea of who we are. And then at the end of the podcast, you choose your favorite twin. That's so messed up. Guys. You already know. Don't get it twisted. Guys, don't listen to her. She's crazy. She's literally spewing you, lies. Like You guys could tell from the beginning, like, th actually, one of this, us, this bitch thinks she's my twin. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. There's clearly a, a prettier twin, a funnier twin, and it's, it's heading, it's on this side of the screen, okay? It's, and I'm pointing at myself right now if you can't see the screen, period. I'm literally living with an egotistical maniac help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, living with a um actually uh, a narcissist. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Wow. And Amber's just literally joking. She's not a narcissist in any regard. We're just joking. Also, Amber, do you know what's so crazy right now? How could you say that you're the funnier, nicer twin when I literally allowed you to sit on this side of the podcast? Both me and Amber have left sides of our face as being like our good side. Like I literally, like even having the side of my face on the podcast, like literally makes me like, Ugh, like, are you joking me? Like I literally hate it. But out of the kindness of my heart. Thank you. Thank you, of twin. Of course. I am letting her sit on her my good, good side. side. And so I think in future podcasts, we are going to rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> And choose who gets, and to, choose who gets to sit on their good side. Or do you guys think that we should keep it consistent and I should just always have my good side? Comment down below. Yeah, I feel like comments. I feel like consistency. I feel like shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm just oh kidding. Oh <laughs> my God. I'm going to um, take okay, a deep let's breath. Rock, paper, scissors. And let's, nope. Let's just check right now if you would win. But I won't, I won't make Ain't you no win. Ain't no way. Ready? Okay, ready? 
Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. shoot. I won. It's fucked up. That wait, means wait, nothing. Wait, that best, means best nothing. Best two out of three. Best two out of three. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Okay, Good. I won both times. Okay, I won. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, no, I, I will make a switch. That was, that was rematch next no. podcast. It's okay, guys. If whatever you just saw on the video, Ashley edited differently. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did not win. I did not lose twice. Okay. Thank you for letting me sit on my good side. Of course. Um, but also, I think that it was the stakes for me were much higher because you actually look fine on your bad side. My no. bad side, listen, my no. bad side looks like the Ice Age baby. Amber. Like, I have my bad side looks like Poot. <laughs> Poot <Demi> Lovato. Lovato. <laughs> okay, well, that's your fault for putting your hair in a bun. No, you did not have to do that. Amber, no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. If you were really worried about So you like admit Poot. that I look like Poot. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I held the cross fingers behind my back. No, but actually, though, if you look at my teeth on my bad side, my teeth like are so weird and crooked that like I look, look like the Ice Age baby. You see that? Like your teeth are straight. It does not matter that much to you. Well, the Ice I Age have... baby's cute, though. No, I meant like if no, I, <laughs> <laughs> I look like the mix between the Ice Age baby and the sloth from Ice Age. And Sid. Sid. Like if they had like a bestiality child oh my god I'm gross it actually was way too but graphic. probably yeah probably yes <laughs> oh my god gross <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you're gross okay can we get to the questions please yes question number one if you could eat only one meal for the rest of your life what would it be meal okay this Singular is like really meal. hard for me because i think like oh no like this needs to have everything that i could eat like like your nutrients like nutrients but if it wasn't considering nutrients or, like, anything. Although, maybe it would still be fine. I would eat Penang curry every day for the rest oh, of my life. That's pretty good. I think it actually is pretty wholesome, too, like, nutrient-wise. Yeah. So, hmm. Penang curry is a type of Thai or Malaysian curry. I actually, people fight about this in my comments because I think there's both a Thai Penang curry and a Malaysian Penang curry. Oh. I don't know. Um, but either way, it's a delicious curry. And it's, like, kind of coconutty and it has vegetables and you can have tofu and rice and it's really good. delicious it's really delicious hmm. um i think for me this is kind of crazy i would eat um a korean veggie pancake which is called yachejan but it's literally Kimchi like pancake or no, like a yache pan- like veg- okay yeah because this is the most delicious food of my life it's kind of crazy because it is like pretty greasy and sometimes when i eat too much of it i feel like oh my god i just ate like, like I Ill. feel the grease <laughs> in my like body right now, but I it's what I crave like every day. It's so and good. It has vegetables in it. There you go. So yeah, that's my answer. Or I would say pho. Maybe I love pho. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, and I would actually I changed my answer. The only food I would eat every day for the rest of my life is matcha. That's it. <laughs> and I would probably die within like <laughs> yeah, yeah a week. <laughs> I mean, just yeah. Die. That's crazy. Speaking of. Dying and nutrient deficiency. Okay. If you were stuck on a deserted island, who would you want to be with? One other person. And what three items would you want to bring with you? I was thinking about this when I wrote. No, no, no. Like anyone in the world. I guess. Bear you- Gorillas. <laughs> who? Bear Gorillas. Who's that? That's his name, right? Who? The guy that like catches all the fucking fish. Huh? The guy that like is like really good at like surviving in the wild. Like I'm pretty sure. Wait, is that the- or does he only catch know. fish? I literally don't know. Okay, well, you, you could have just said First of dad. all, you're uneducated. <laughs> oh, my God. The hostility. I thought when we did this podcast together, we would be, like, so friendly vibes. No, I think that this is better than, like, a normal podcast because if we weren't sisters, I would, like, be way more polite. <laughs> yeah. This is... But anyways. Uh, no, I would definitely be with, like, someone that is, like, really good at surviving... That's it. Point blank. Point blank. Period. And then absolutely rely on them. Or like for funsies, I would totally be there with Kelly so that we could at least like emotionally bond. We could have fun. <laughs> um, Kelly would probably build a skate park there. Yeah. And then he could like build a mini ramp yeah. in the forest. But he wouldn't be able to vlog it, which would be really detrimental. Actually, no. Unless one, one of, of the three items you bring is a camera. Yep. Okay. Never mind. And <laughs> a Wi-Fi maybe. Yeah. Router? <laughs> Okay, we're good then. And then the YouTube grind going on the dessert island. Yeah, and then maybe we'll somehow like survive on um, AdSense money. No, I was actually thinking more like Bitcoin. What? Yeah, guys, donate Bitcoin so that me and Kelly can live on the island. This is crazy. And then we'll trade the Bitcoin with the locals 
with the local it's a monkeys okay. for coconuts. They wanted Bitcoin. Trust me. The monkeys want the Bitcoin. Yeah. No, like that's real. For it. In real life, the monkeys want the Bitcoin. <laughs> 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 and that's just the truth. My instinctual thought was like, I think for fun, I would choose my boyfriend, Pono, because then it's like, I feel like we would not get sick of each other. And also, he is a man, so he can probably carry some of the weight with, like, hunting mm-hmm. and stuff like that, building the shelter. I'll just make him do it. Yeah. I feel or like Andrew would be pretty good, even. I was, yeah, I was yeah. also thinking, I like, was gonna say our dad or Andrew, because for some reason, they are just, like, building things all the time at home, and I would trust them to build a fort. Yeah, and because they're family, they will care about you. Whereas, maybe if I chose Bear Gryllis, he <laughs> says, I don't give a fuck. You're Who not even you? my family. I'm yeah. leaving. And then he's gonna, like... Use me as bait to fend off a cheetah, and then I'm what dead. What? Yeah, is the heck? Trust me. Like, think about the scenario every day. Wow, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. And then for my three items to bring to a deserted island, I would pick flint and steel, diamond pickaxe, <laughs> <laughs> diamond pickaxe, diamond armor. Okay, you're set. Yeah. And uh, Minecraft. I would probably bring a creeper with me. It would be my plus one. <laughs> uh, yeah, my... Uh, I would probably bring crafting table, <laughs> redstone, and yeah, diamond armor. Actually, yeah. I really need a pickaxe, though, mostly. You really need that diamond pickaxe. Even a wooden pickaxe. Can't no. Be, beggars can't be choosers. Except the whole question is that you could bring anything you want. And you chose Bitcoin and a wooden pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Describe the other person in three words. Beautiful twin sister. I was going to say that. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, but actually, though, like, should I really, though? Yeah. I think that, yeah. Okay. Let me Annoying. Oh. <laughs> this is crazy. No, no, also, I'm, like, laughing way too hard after I'm, I, like, say something, and then I'm, like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I would say, first of all, Amber is so funny. The funniest person I know. I will never laugh harder at a joke or anything other than, like, what comes out of Amber's mouth. Wow. Like, there's never, like, a time where I'm, like, crying laughing. I swear, unless it's, like, we're talking to each other. Really? Yeah, like, I'm just crying. Like, oh. literally, like, I'm crying and I can't catch my air. What? Sometimes. You know? Like, if we say something really funny. Really funny. If we say funny. something really funny, it's like that. That's okay. There will be moments of that on the podcast. I know for sure they're coming. Yeah, stay tuned, guys. I'll be yeah. really funny one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, stay tuned for the one moment that it's so funny, guys. Yeah. Trust me, it's going to happen. You need to watch through every podcast yeah. just so you can see it. There's going to be one moment where it's just so funny. It's just so funny. <laughs> of course, beautiful. Oh. And also, I think Amber is very intelligent. What? Like, actually, she's so smart. Bro, not anymore. What? I think we haven't really... Okay. But, like, in high school... No, exactly. Because I went away to college for like four years. I am newly back living with Ashley. Mm-hmm. I think she remembers the old me. I used to be okay. really good at math. Now I uh, literally can't read. Like I think TikTok has ruined my brain. Do you think film school changed you? Yes. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell that because, <laughs> <laughs> because no, literally though, going to film school was probably the worst thing. Not the worst thing. I loved it. But for like my brain, I my brain was deteriorating. Deteriorating. <laughs> That's a did, me. Did, <laughs> That's a really niche inside the, joke. Oh, anyways. my God. No, but, like, over the course of college, like, I couldn't even read it. Like, I swear. Because when you go to film school, you don't have to take a math class. You don't have to take a science class. You just have to, like, sit there, and then they're like, go home and film a short film for homework. And I'm like, okay. But now I literally am like, uh, what's it called where you can't even, like, see, I don't even know the words. Dyslexic? Anymore. No, it's, like, where you, <laughs> I'm like. So sorry. No, oh, my God. But uh, that, too, probably. But, okay. um. It's the thing where you're, like, if you're raised in the wild and you don't know how to read and speak. Um, illiterate? Yeah. I'm illiterate, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid. No, also, but that literally only means that you don't know how to read. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't even find words okay. in my brain. <laughs> no, I literally think I need to take a math class or something so that I can... I say that all the time. Yeah, because I used to be a beast at math. And I was, like, so sharp. And every day... I'm not even kidding. This is kind of weird of me. Okay. But literally every day I would go through life. Oh my God, this is so weird. <laughs> I would be like walking around in the hallways at school and I would like, see, <laughs> I would like, I swear I would like see like math in my head. No. And I'd figure it out in my head and I'd be like, I'm a freaking, I'm so smart. I'm just like coming up with math and like figuring it out in my head while I'm doing like <laughs> random weird. things. No, I know. But I don't have moments like that anymore. I'm like, 
That's what? like me when I feel like in high school, like when I took physics, I used to study it like so much that I swear like I would like go to bed and yeah. literally I would have dreams where I'm like solving stuff or like I am having dreams where I'm like, like making sure that like certain principles of physics like make sense to me. I'm like, okay, yeah, like I guess the speed of light could work if like this. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like I'm literally like having dreams where I'm like dead ass like doing proofs. Like I'm doing math and like weird stuff Ugh. in my dreams oh my god i can't even think of the f- like the word what's it called when it's like the the letter s that looks like this oh my god i'm literally singing, i'm literally dumb as hell now no, no i know no, 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 no. it's called it uh, fuck wait i don't remember what's wait, called i'm like literally blanking on the name because i haven't done it in so long Bro, but like, i know exactly what it is people in but high school be watching be like, this are oh gonna god, be like actually they're, like, they're gonna be like what the fuck guys trust me i was just do- i was literally doing this like three years ago in school and i already forgot it Please help, because I used to take a lot of you calc got, classes too. You're taking the L on this. No. Can I tell no, my? No, no, no. Cl- um, <laughs> let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the tip of my tongue. Okay, never mind. You go. I'm just gonna think about it. Okay. Was actually like so whoever's like la- like listening and knows math is like you guys are literally like fucking stupid. No, I know. <laughs> um. Okay, okay, but when I was in high school, like I was on like the super advanced like math route, so that's why math was like up here in my brain at all times. But what was crazy is my sophomore year of college. I had to like read, we were like reading a script in class and the character that I was reading for had to like read out a math problem. And the problem was literally just X squared plus eight. <laughs> and I look at it on the paper in front of my whole class and I go, uh, uh, <laughs> math problem X something, something. And we, I like just skip over it. And my whole class is like jaw dropped. Like you couldn't figure out what X squared plus eight is. Did you hear me say that? Yes, Ashley? I did hear you say that. Yeah, that, uh, I was just wondering because you were on your phone. <laughs> I know, I was looking at, like, I'm literally looking at math, sorry. No, but isn't that crazy though? Like, I literally graduate high school, don't take a math class, and I can't even remember what X squared is. That was horrifying. That was actually a horrifying day in my life. That's so funny. Well, what is it called? the word that I have in my head that I'm thinking is like differential equations. Like, you know, I, we used to be solving differential equations. Why can't I remember the name for this symbol? Do you know like that symbol? What is that symbol called? Um, I don't know. <laughs> yes you do i don't know anymore that is interesting i am gonna describe you in three words now okay. i'm gonna say that you are so generous okay because somehow every day ashley gives me a little gift bag that gift bag even for like halloween she gave me a gift bag of candies and was like happy halloween and there was like cookies in there and gloves yeah. and i was like what the heck and for christmas she always goes crazy and for my birthday she goes crazy and it's, like, every day. De- I don't even know how she has the time to, like, buy people gifts because she's so busy. But then she's always pulling up with the gifts. And I'm, like, wow. That is crazy that she is always prioritizing prioritizing the gift-giving love language inside of her. Thank you. Is it gift-giving or is it a shopping addiction? Just kidding. Uh, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. And then I also say that Ashley is very... Uh, I don't know how to say this in one word. But you are very... Uh, como se dice... Um, Stupid. No. <laughs> uh, I think that Ashley is so hardworking in a way where she's really thinking ahead and she's always one step ahead of like what's happening in the current moment. Like she's always got a plan for like what's next, which Whoa. is pretty epic because like I am going day by day being like I literally don't know what's going on. But Ashley's got like plans and she's working on them. I feel like I will just work on things even if I'm like scared of them or like I literally don't know what's going on. I will still push forward. Yeah. But – I actually don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Like, actually, like, my life is chaos right now. I actually today had to sit down and make a list and write things that are going on. And, like, I literally yeah. had to make a list just so, like, I know, like, what I'm dealing with in my general life. Because I was like, wait, like, know. there's too many things and I can't keep track. Just because I'm working on a lot of stuff as well. Yeah. But. Um, and like, then my final word to describe Ashley would have to be derpy. That is so messed up. <laughs> no, because you guys don't see it, but Ashley's really derpy. Go! Oh! <laughs> no, like, am I like a millennial? Am no, I a millennial no. to you? Stop. No, I'm no, no, no. Nothing against millennials. Just no, we it. love the millennials. I am a millennial, probably. No, like I am a millennial too. I'm like almost there. We are not I'm at all. Twenty four. I don't think that is a millennial. But anyways, okay. Ashley is um, a derp queen. Shut and the. That's it. Like, do you want me to, like, beat no, you up? Like, no, what are you asking I mean it for? in a good way. I mean, she, like, is, like... Like, I'm goofy. A little bit goofy. But I think the way that I would categorize your goofiness is, is derp. derp. No, literally, 
how could you say that to me? Like literally, literp. Literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Lit- what the? Literally. Literally. Wait. Okay, that's um, actually Amber. Like, are you just gonna like breeze right over that, or like, can we? Unpack you this have a little been bit? calling me crazy things this whole episode. <laughs> I give you the compliment of calling you Liderpy. I I like. I actually do not mind being derpy because how. <laughs> But, like, the word derp has, like, a certain, like, hint of cringe in there, which is no. okay. I am cringe, and I accept that, and it's fine. But no. derpy is, like, whoa. No, you're, like, the derp face derpy? Like, what's going on? No, like, you're derpy. Like, uh, like, if, uh, no, okay, you know how, this is Guys, actually. wait. I think both of us come off as derpy sometimes. I think we're both really smart. I don't want to, like, be like, yeah, we're smart. But I actually think both of us are, like. We're pretty decently smart, but we I also sound like such an. I sound such annoying. <laughs> Wait, sorry, that was, that, was, sorry, that was also an inside joke. To one time, our little cousin Kai is like one of our favorite videos ever. I like he's literally sitting on Amber's lap playing his iPad, and I'm like Kai. He like at this point in his life, he like loved to say that he like hated people for some reason. Yeah. Like, he's just so funny. Be like, I hate this person. I'm like, okay. Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> but he's sitting on Amber's lap playing his iPad. I'm like Kai, why don't you like Amber? And he goes. Because she's such annoying. And Andrew <laughs> is such annoying, too. Yeah. And it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so I love, we love to say that people are such annoying. Yeah. Anyways, that's the lore for that. Mm-hmm. I don't want to explain any further. I think they get the gist. You are derpy. Okay. Derp. Derp. <laughs> I'm like the derp queen, you could say. Next question. Gold or silver? I think you can see. Gold. Silver. And that's where we differ. Period. That's also one of my favorite things to say is when someone just says something like different than what you think. And then I'm like, and that's, and that's where, where we, we differ. differ. Yeah. Me, yeah, we have crazy lines that we just use all the time. This mm-hmm. is crazy. Yep. Um, we should like keep a list of them throughout the podcast or something. Yeah. You guys already learned a couple so far. I feel like such annoying. I don't think we've ever publicly like said. Yeah. That's a so, huge one. Yeah. That's like Alexander family lore inside yeah. jokes. And then he's also like, you're mean in the house. <laughs> yeah, you're mean in house. Yeah, Our like, cousin Kai was saying the most, He's like, so funny. Funniest things ever. Our two cousins, Paul and Kai, like, a lot of the things that they say, like, will still say to this day. I don't even think that they know this. I yeah. wonder if they would watch this podcast. Because they're, like, older now. Yeah, they are older they're now. Like, what? But, um, like, Paula one time was, like, was, like... <laughs> What? Should I explain when you said shut the mm-mm door? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Our cousin Paula was, like, guys... I have to call a special meeting. He's like so little. He's like, I have to call a special meeting. So he like gets us all to like come upstairs to his room. He's like, wait, did he actually say that? He just, no, he wanted to like tell us some like funny story that happened. But like he didn't want to say a swear word. Yeah. So then he's like, he's like, guys, get in the room, get in the room or something. And then he's like, he doesn't want to say like, shut the fucking door. So then he says, shut the mm-mm door. Yeah. <laughs> and he would always like go mm-mm instead of a swear word. And it was just like so funny that he like yeah. called the meeting just to be like, guys, Shut the mm-mm door. Yeah. And we're like, what? It like, literally made no <laughs> sense. But yeah. For like a whole year, he would do that where he would say, mm-mm, like, yeah, in yeah. place of a swear word. And we were just hearing him say, like, cra- like oh my God. It, it was so funny. so funny. So now we'll be like, shut the mm-mm door. Yeah. Like, that's like a response to like, kind of anything. We'll be like, yo, shut the mm-mm door. Yeah. <laughs> or just in place of the effing word. Yeah. Just say, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Wow. Um, next question. What would you do if you won the lottery? And for example, it will be like a billion dollar lottery. I would immediately invest the money. Okay, business queen. Yes, I would immediately put a max contribution into my 401k. And then wow. I'd also do a Roth IRA as well. Just oh. to get first out those uh, retirement funds out of the way. Max contributions. Then I would invest the rest of the money. Because I have so much money. Into maybe, Bitcoin. No. <laughs> maybe into more risky stocks because what? I don't give an F. At this point, I have so much money. Yeah. Put into some risky dollars. stocks. Maybe put some of it into mutual funds. What are these Just things? Just safer. Yo, this is crazy. I don't know how Ashley knows so many things I literally... Maybe this is like common information. And I'm just outing myself as an idiot. Mm, but I like, just think I actually have done a lot of like learning of how to do your taxes and bills. Yeah, I actually not actually don't know. in business school though. Just from like dad and from YouTube. 
However, I'm literally just effing with you guys to sound <laughs> like a tech bro. But like, I guess, yeah, I think, I mean, this, I actually would invest it though. And I would do exactly what I just said. But yeah, I would probably also go on a cruise. I would probably buy a house. I would probably um, buy a lot of sports cars, strippers, and then throw huge lavish parties until I run through all of my savings. That's what I would do. What about you, Amber? That's real. I think... Um, if I have a billion dollars, that's just a crazy amount of money. But apparently that's what the current lottery is, which is why I said a billion dollars for this. Like oh, someone was just telling me wait, that. I forgot because I'm literally annoying. I'm like literally such annoying. I what? would, <laughs> I take back the cars and strippers. I would give away right. a lot of the money into charities. Oh, good answer, <laughs> Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> I like how it was also delayed. Yeah, I know. I like had to, I like thought about it and like, wait. Hold on, I have Hold to say on. this. Hold on, actually, I realized, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Not even capping right now. I was literally thinking, I would do the classic things, buy a gorgeous house for my mother, buy uh, whatever. But then I think I would, if I just like had the money, I don't know if you have to be, like, some type of in political power to do these things. So maybe I would run for some kind of office like and then win. For Congress. Run for Congress. <laughs> and then I would fix everything. Amber yeah! would fix this nation. I would vote for Amber. Yeah. Vote for the better twin sister. Because okay, well, I'm not, like, running against you. I am just saying in general, vote okay. for the <laughs> twin sister. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I would just do all the classic things, like. Interesting. Housing whatnots literally you know how it is mm-hmm. don't get it twisted don't get it twisted i would never get it twisted if you i know was actually what i would do if i had a lot of money i would um buy off the one did you know in chinatown in manhattan they like bought like whoever owns like the I actually i'm like gonna mess up the details of this so like don't please take what i say too literally or whatever but i'm pretty sure that like they're there is this, like, one big building or, like, block, potentially, that's owned by, like, one landlord, and they're turning it into a jail in Manhattan, in Chinatown, and it's so fucked up. What? And I would buy it off of him, and I would just, like, give it back to the community. Why that's, like, what I really that? would want to do. Because I'm, like, why do you need to put that in Manhattan? Yeah, I'm, like, it and is it, like, so takes crowded. away from Chinatown, like, yeah. so much. I love and so there's always, like, protests out there about it, and I would just be, like... How much money I will buy it off of you. Although I would rather just have him not do that. Just like not have to buy it off of him. Yeah, at I'd all. rather just not give him any money. But if you gotta do what you gotta do, and then I would say this is not turning into a jail because that's crazy. Yeah. It's so crowded in Manhattan already and Chinatown is And like and you're gonna so put a fun. jail there and like just all, ruin I the vibes. Like so sad. Like all like there's like so many like elders there and they all like sit out there and protest and I feel oh, so no. bad and it's like so upsetting. Yeah. What the heck? It's literally so upsetting. Oh my god, I haven't seen that because I have I do not go to Chinatown that often. But I also freaking love Chinatown and what the heck? I, I wonder, like, do you know where in Chinatown? Yeah, we, I walk past it all the time. What? It's like where like th- I think right now there's like a museum there actually. Ugh. But wow. do your own research because I am potentially also spewing even more misinformation. <laughs> but I'm like from my understanding that's what I thought or that's what I think, and I would attempt to fix that because wow. yeah. Dang. For our final podcast segments, we're going to do some fun little things. First, we have media recommendations. So that's our songs of the week, okay. shows of the week, whatever we've been listening to or watching this week. Okay. And then the th- and then our final segment will be things we loved about ourselves this week. Okay. Because the whole thing about this Beautiful Twin Sisters podcast is that we are proud to call ourselves beautiful. Mm-hmm. We do not let anyone shame us for having positive thoughts about ourselves so exactly like earlier when i was saying that i feel like we're smart i was like i literally sound like a a dick but like you should be able to say that you're smart and you should be able to say that you're beautiful and you should be able to own it yeah so that's what we're gonna do every single week we're gonna have something we loved about ourselves this week so that we can uh have our own like me and ashley will literally like exercise positive self-talk and hopefully inspire you guys to have the same type of thing where you are not ashamed to have good thoughts about yourself we should also say, like, what we're grateful for, maybe, or something. Wow. And also, we should go around the Thanksgiving table. Yeah. Let's have a Thanksgiving episode where we have a turkey in between us, and we say we're thankful for it the whole time. That would be but fire. That would be actually triggering for me. Yeah, I actually do not want a turkey in between <laughs> us. <laughs> okay. But we can have some thankful thankful things. We could have, like, a f- turkey stuffed animal. Oh, that would be funny. Yeah. Um, for my song recommendations, I have 
from the Shrek 2 soundtrack, Accidentally in Love by Counting Crows. This song is fire. Do you know this, Ashley? No. It's a song that says, so she said, what's the problem, baby? Oh, okay. Now I know pro- it. It's so good. It's so good. And why is it on the Shrek 2 soundtrack? I don't know, but it's fire. Okay, Shrek 2, though, has so many bangers. Or just Shrek, not maybe not Shrek 2 specifically, but Shrek has a lot of bangers. Yeah. Like the Iglesias, what's his first name? Enrique Iglesias. Enrique Iglesias. That's crazy. They have one of his songs wow. on there, I'm, I think, unless I'm wrong. And that one's wow. lit. That's lit. Oh, also, other song recommendations. I've been loving... Um, listening to second generation K-pop recently, which is what my whole childhood consisted of. But I was specifically a Super Junior fan, and even more so, uh, more specifically, a Kyuhyun fan, who looks just like her boyfriend. Yeah, and I manifested that, and it's <laughs> awesome. But my favorite Super Junior songs right now are, of course, "Sorry Sorry," "Supergirl," the Korean version, mm-hmm. "Evanescence," "No Other," all the bangers. So that is my media Rex of the week. Okay, fire. My media rec of the week right now, my favorite song is the new Starfucker song. I always feel, like, weird when I have to be, like, who's your favorite? Because they, they literally are, like, my favorite, like, artist yeah. or, like, group. And then I have to be, like, Starfucker, and everyone's, like, literally, what did you just say? Yeah. <laughs> but that's the name of the band. It's actually written as S-T-R-F-K-R. Sometimes I'll just say that, and then it's also, it's, like, just... Does it's just getting sense. worse. It's like when I try to explain my YouTube handle, and I say your mom Ashley, and I have to be like you are space Emma, and then it's like it just uh. gets worse and worse progressively as I try to explain the name of something. Yeah. So that's like what we have in common, actually. But you know? they have a new song called Always Dash or Always Slash Never, and I really like their new song. Came out end of November. Wow. And they're my number one artist on Spotify. That's fire. Mm-hmm. And I love all others? their songs. Uh, no, that's it. <laughs> okay, nice. I also love that band, that group. Yes. Okay. Moving on to the final segment of the podcast. The thing we loved about ourselves this week. Positive self-talk segment. Psst. That's the acronym for it. Psst. Psst. Yeah. We're getting into the psst. Psst. It wouldn't just be psst. Psst. Positive self, like psst. Oh, yeah. Like a whisper. Okay, yeah. Let's get into the psst. Okay. My pst of the week <laughs> is, um, honestly, I've been on my grind posting, like, YouTube shorts. She's an iPad baby. I know I'm not. Yes, you are. Why do you have to? Okay, bro, <laughs> the whole point of this podcast is positivity, and you just call me iPad baby. Wow. Okay. Take it back. Okay, never mind. I don't take it back, but. Okay. Just act like I didn't say that, though. <laughs> this is crazy, Ashley. No way. Okay. I was I'm proud say. of you. <laughs> okay <laughs> i was trying to say i've been grinding like posting on that <laughs> ipad i'm sorry i've been I'm grinding sorry. on that ipad <laughs> i'm so sorry i keep interrupting you wow. okay go on go on yeah I've my been, bad i've been on my ipad all week posting videos on youtube shorts reels tiktok and i'm like consistent as hell like literally more than ever so that's what i am proud of i am consistently on that ipad actually I am not on the iPad. I am working, and I'm a beast, and I am doing the work, and I'm awesome. It's very interesting. I feel like TikTok in a different way than YouTube, because I hear TikTokers talk about doing TikTok. They say it, like, kind of, like, takes over your life and, like, the way you think about your days, because you, like, you wake up. You're like, oh, my God, what do I film for TikTok today? And then they have to, like, film, like, two or three videos or whatever per, for TikTok, like, each per day, day per day. Yeah, and then you kind of, like, go every day kind of, like, I gotta do this each day. Whereas with YouTube, I feel like that, but more on like a weekly basis. Like oh, I get to yeah. get this done this week, or like I gotta film certain portions this week. But it doesn't feel as consuming, consuming as TikTok. Whereas like TikTok to me, like when I do it as more of like when I do it more consistently, it's like way more consuming of my time somehow. Yeah. So that's what is kind of the barrier to entry for me with doing more TikToks. But I'm trying, and I do actually post pretty consistently on my TikTok now. But okay, she's taking my exact. I literally was doing this before you even started. Wow. Your if I'm wow. gonna be honest. Yeah. But yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, damn. What is your thing that you loved about yourself this week? This week, I loved that I gave myself time to rest when I needed it. This weekend, didn't open up my laptop once. I said, "Hey, I'm gonna have a normal weekend. I'm just gonna hang out with my friends, and not worry about my job." Nice. So I decided I'm not working this weekend. I usually work 
every single day. Yeah. <laughs> so to take a weekend off was really nice. Oh, hey guys, it's us from the future here to tell you that our mics are about to die because <laughs> we didn't check the battery before we started recording. It's our first episode. Of course. <laughs> I'm just it's our first episode. Of course oh, so the good. mics are going to die. I'm so sorry. Enjoy the last minute of the podcast with the horrible audio quality. I, I set myself up in a way where like in the past weeks I kind of like grinded actually so that I could have like a free weekend or more free time off so I feel like this past weekend I really got to just like chill and be in the moment and we had some like fun times with our friends we got stuck in the elevator for 50 minutes we did karaoke uh so when and with like a pocha like a Korean gastro pub type place with some of our yeah. friends and just did like fun things around the city this week which was really nice and we went to K-Town twice and I never go to K-Town actually so that was yeah. really fun it was lit mm-hmm this is awesome. The things that we love about ourselves this week were so contrasting. I was working and you were not working. And that switched. We did switch roles. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been awesome. That is pretty much it for our first episode of the Beautiful Twin Sisters podcast. It is leaving me wanting more. For real. I actually feel like I should just keep talking. <laughs> Let's just film episode two right now. No, literally. And also, um, it's becoming nighttime, guys. <laughs> yeah, so we gotta wrap this up. <laughs> yeah, and since it's like currently winter, it's like the sun is setting right now at 4.30, which feels terrible. Horrible. Terrible. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for joining. We've been talking about doing this. I know a lot of people have been saying, like, for Beautiful so Beautiful Twin Sisters Podcast. And y'all are going to be hyped to see that. The name no. is literally just po Beautiful Twin Sisters Podcast. Like, actually, it's going to go crazy. Don't yeah. get it twisted. <laughs> yep. Do not get it twisted. Do not get it twisted. Wow. I just think it's, like, it's such a funny name. It's, like, oh, it's catchy and i am loving it also the fact that it gets shortened to the bts podcast you guys are our, our army <laughs> you guys oh my god beautiful twin sisters army That's but we so should spell weird. army like a-r-m-i-e like army hammer oh my god no he's weird. <laughs> no no army hammer i don't want him okay <laughs> no i think um it could be our twins yeah the twins our twins are twins twin army twin army twin army Huh? I can join the words. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Or y'all pissed Just tell me you the idea. What's I that? hated the idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're so excited to do more episodes. We have a bunch of topics lined up, so we're going to be busting these out, and it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. We love you. Thank you for tuning in. Beautiful Twin Sisters, out. Beautiful Twin Sisters. Sisters, 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 sis